right, season two marches on, and this is Uncle Sam FM here with my East Tennessee State journeyman save as I uh, look to move up the ranks of American soccer with my database. And uh, just a real kind of real quick recap what's happened so far. In our last episode, we did the uh, first match of this season against Bryant, and we came away victorious. And uh, as you can see, uh, after that result, I was a little somewhat discouraged. I didn't feel like we played as well as I thought we did. However, as the um, the NCAA, our, our non-conference group has uh, proceeded, Bryant has actually done pretty well for themselves. For themselves, and we'll look at Group Five. So you can see they're five and two. They're the second place team right now, and they even have a game in hand on the third place team. So they've done pretty well for themselves. Uh, just to kind of real quick look at their um, results. As you can see, they also had played a lot of friendly, so they were fit coming into our game, and we still walked away with a three to nothing win. Their only other loss was a golden goal loss to Denver. So they've done pretty well. They may, in fact, be one of the better teams. Um, so. Should be pleased with the result. Um, for us, as you can tell, we've been pretty much perfect. Uh, we've won every game. Um, did give up a goal against Gardner-Webb. I believe that was a free kick goal or maybe a set-piece goal. Um, but th they're the only team that scored against us. Everyone else, we've you know done pretty well. Denver was a bit of a struggle, but we got it done in stoppage time on uh, the 93rd minute. So... We are currently undefeated with 8-0, I think. Yeah, 8-0-0, no wins, no draw, or no losses, no draws. And um, so, yeah, pretty good non-conference season so far. Just to kind of look at the squad, see how they've played. Um, I do, I may have another situation at the wing position. And just like last year, I, um, I made a change that kind of lit a fire under the player who got benched. So I may end up having to do that because if you look at Swinehart and Jones together, they have one goal and two assists. Meanwhile, you look on the bench and Aaron Evans has scored three goals. He has one assist. So he is just about equal, if not surpassed, the production of the two starters together. So I'm very much thinking about, and we'll look at the... Um, I'm very much considering uh, taking Jones off, either Jones or uh, Swinehart. One big difference, though, is you look at training ratings, and I, I don't take that too seriously, but Swinehart's killing it in training, so I feel like he's kind of, you know, in training, earning his, his starting position, whereas Zion Jones, not as well. Um, but you really can't use that either because... Aaron Evans is not training as well as, as either. Um, but his on-field production has clearly been better to 7.09. Um, and Steve Perry is kind of pushing Alberto Padone. Padone, um, his last five game ratings, not super great. His overall ratings, not super great. Um, he, I think he has one goal. Yeah, one goal, one assist. Steve Perry has the same, but he also has fewer minutes. As you look, goals per 90, Steve Perry is getting a half a goal per 90, so that's one goal every two games. Meanwhile, Padone, only .16 goals per 90. So that means that's a that's less than a goal every four games. So I'm, I'm considering making a change there just to kind of see how um, things things go. I, it, it's, FM's a funny game, you know. One thing that's to be fair, a lot of times I'm subbing these guys in against a fatigued opposition, so that might have something to do with it. Um, it could be hidden attributes, um, but those are some changes I'm looking at making. Um, bright spot, Joe Dixon has, has done well, 93% pass percentage, um, obviously two goals. Uh, he doesn't have any assists yet, and that's an issue, but he's doing pretty well. Um, Thiago Goez has done pretty well. Um, could be happier with his overall rating, 6.91, but you know, he's a freshman. It's his first year, so um, we'll take that. Uh, Florian Walter at, at the holding mid position at the number six. He has done really well, even has a couple of assists. And then um, Andrew Webb has been a real – he scored three goals on corner kicks. Um, obviously, that's big. But he's all. Uh, he's also. He's not making a ton of mistakes for a center back. So um, we're pretty well pleased with our our new additions and kind of the way the team is starting to play. Um, we are coming off of a four to nothing win over Niagara. Um, tactic wise, I 
the 2-3-2-3 didn't do super great against Bryant, at least as I thought. I have used it a little bit here and there. Usually, I've not really pulled it out until I've got the lead, and I don't know that that's a fair judgment of the tactic overall. So today, I'm going to use it again. This will only be the second time, but I'm going to use it again at kickoff, and we're going to see how well it does. Uh, I have been mostly playing the 4-3-3 uh, three, three, the, with the fullbacks drop back to the wingback um, strata. So, But today we're going to do 2-3-2-3 two, three, two, three and uh, see how well it performs against Furman, who we'll now look at. If you look at their schedule, they have been absolutely abysmal. They have only one win against Brown, an Ivy League team who probably is not that good. Um, and then, what is it, seven losses, I guess? Um and one draw. Let's see where they were. Yeah, so yeah, one one win, one draw, six losses. So they're in the bottom of their non-conference group, uh, and that to be is not a very strong group. Um, West Virginia is okay, um, San Diego okay, but the rest of those teams are pretty weak. So for Fermi to be at the bottom of that group, they are not having a great year. Hopefully, that has an effect on their morale. Uh, and our morale is mostly pretty good. Um, all extremely, or I'm sorry, excellence um, or extremely goods, a couple superb. So, yeah, we feel pretty good about where we are morale wise um, and results wise. But Furman is still probably the top program in our conference historically. And no doubt they'll come in uh, ready to play. Last season, they were our one conference loss, and we had to spend a good part of the season trying to dig our way out of the hole that we dug when we lost to them. Um, let's say give the fans their money worth, whatever. And have faith. Uh, I think I will come out a little cautious. We will be more expressive. And here we go. Don't kicks off and we are underway. Furman playing a four one or sorry, a four four one one and that came to nothing. Still looking good possession wise. And I think Furman's sitting back, so I'm going to go positive. And let's take off and be more expressive. Let's work up a little possession, be patient, create our chances. And here's Swinehart with a chance. To, ooh, nice. See, Swinehart does that. He, he, uh, he'll beat a defender on the dribble and then shoot it right at the goalkeeper's hands. minutes in let's give him a shout iron wins that ball easily and here we have a corner dixon puts it into the box of the far post zakuani could not finish it kayembe zakuani i'm just going to call him zakuani ooh shot is saved by the goalkeeper kanga so we have another corner And Keeper snatches that one out of the air. Looked like it had been touched. Dixon. Ooh, Dixon loses it. That's a bad, that's a bad mistake. <laughs> Keeper got a hand on it. Put it out. Now let's hope we can clear this. And luckily it goes right to the Keeper. So two shots back to back right there. some possession here. We need to get that ball. Can we win the ball, please? Uh, I'm going to demand more here. I feel like defensively we're not getting it done. It was a corner to the far post. We headed away. Guys, focus up. Let's see if we can't make something happen here, guys. All right, so we go to the half, not playing super great. I 
I tell them I'm happy with them even though that's a lie. But they don't know that. Kanga sends it long and Kanga's like Iwana gathers it and here we go. Alright guys, let's get something done here. Corner Webb heads it over. He was looking for another one. Dixon, the free kick, sends it over the bar. Dixon again, puts it on target, but the keeper is able to get there. Ooh, Glez could not put it on target there on his rebound. All right, let's start making our subs. Uh, Walter gets a yellow card, so he's coming out. Yeah, I'm going to take Swinehart out and switch him with Jones. So that brings Allen into the game. Or not Allen. Evans, is it? I should know my guy's names. I try to get attached. You get attached, it's harder when they go. Yeah, Evans, Aaron Evans. Goes through to Jones. Halleck shot and keeper saves. Uh, of course, Burgess, I just subbed you in because Walter got a yellow card. Idiot. Uh, who else can I take off? Get both my center backs off. Keep them fresh. I got a lot of subs on this one. Oh. There it is. Tell me it counts. Tell me it counts. Yep, Halleck, who I just subbed in. I'm a genius. Halleck shot off the post. Chavez gets it, lays it back to Halleck, who one touches. <laughs> oh, it deflected off of who is that? Padone. It deflected off Padone, so they gave it to Padone. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to pause it because I don't want to blow this game. We're going to go cautious and... We're going to go with my shut up shop strategy. Uh, and tell you what, let's go ahead and make these last subs. All right. Because they are almost certainly going to come at me now. Yep, here they come. Chavez up to Evans. Evans takes it, goes to the byline. He drops it. Okay, probably the smart play. To Burgess, Halleck, Lira, Perry to Burgess, Evans, and we're just having a kickabout here. Oh, there's a nice through ball. If Perry would have read it, he probably could have got to that. Uh oh. Get it out. Anywhere will do. Oh. Perry takes that, and... Oh, Perry, finish that! Uh, okay, all right. Evans back to Burgess. Okay, good to Bustos Diaz. And I think Bustos Diaz moving him up to the wingback strata gets him forward. That's when he might not have been if he was a fullback. And we walk away with a win. Big way to start the conference season. Um, to beat the team who finished second last year. Uh, made it to the finals. Yeah, that's a great win. Um, I felt like we should win the game. And I feel better about how we played. Uh, you know, you, you only win 1-0 to zero on a kind of a late goal. But um, we, I, don't, I really didn't feel feel like they threatened us i felt mostly in control of the game and maybe i'm wrong but uh, i felt like we were mostly in control maybe not doing as much up front but that's kind of been a little bit of an issue anyway 
Uh, I might have to just start letting him be more expressive for the whole game. But uh, it's important to win your first conference game. Uh, you, it's not like um, it's not like the Premier League where you play 38, so you can recover from one bad result. You get seven, I think, six maybe. Um, so you better, yeah, it's six. So one one loss makes it very hard to actually go come back and win the league. And we found that out last year. We didn't win it until the last day. And um, it was, you know, we had to hope that other teams helped us out, which they did. But, uh, you know, a lot of times one loss in a, in a college soccer conference can cost you the whole thing. But for us, um, today we don't have to worry about that because we got a result against the only team that beat us in the conference last year. Some other teams that we have to worry about, Wofford uh, was a semifinalist last year. They beat Belmont 3 to nothing, so that might be a team we have to worry about. UNC Greensboro is probably the second-best team in our conference historically. Um, so we can look and see what their history. Yeah, they've won the SoCon six times, um, won the conference tournament five times, so they're a pretty good program. Uh, us, yeah, we don't have a super deep program especially when it comes to the Southern Conference. Yeah, we were, we won the only tournament. So um, looking at our schedule, we would play Cincinnati next. That is our non-conference game. And then we play Wofford. So, hey, we're getting two of the top programs out of the way immediately. Uh, that'll be a home match. But I probably won't come back until at the end of the season, maybe right before the conference tournament, so you'll be able to see how well we did. And then um, maybe we'll have a special conference tournament episode where we just watch the, uh, maybe I'll show highlights. I don't know. Um, same thing I meant to do last year, if not for the sound issue. So this is Uncle Sam FM. I'm going to sign off, but I will see you next time.